Hello everyone. Am I am I showing you a nipple? Oh my goodness. Flashing them. Um hi. It's been a long time since I updated you. I thought I would do a six month prairie check-in, little update, and talk about this little glorious beam of sunshine down here. Um I I thought I'd sort of sporadically update you over the next couple of years about her progress and how she's doing and how we've sort of transitioned into a bigger family. We now have five kids total. In fact, I have all five of them here in Australia with me right now. This is the, the main kids bedroom I'll show you. Oh, yeah, perfect timing because she's about to flash my nip. Um, so Isaac sleeps there. And then there's the bunk beds. Um, oh! Um, and currently, Poet and they, they swap out, but Poet and Forest, oh, we're feeling excited. We want some more boob. You want some more boob? Um, Poet and Forest are sleeping together in the bottom bunk, and then um, they'll swap out, and then Forest and Bodie will sleep together in the top bunk. So it's funny, we have this home here, but it's only got two bedrooms. So we have like the big kids bedroom and that up there is like a little kids cubby. And then we have the master bedroom and then off site um, in its own little separate area is where my mum sleeps. So she has like a little granny flat. Um, but yeah, so we're working on oh, 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 Queen Huff and Puff and stuff. Queen Huff and Puff and stuff. That's what we call her. Oh, that looks like almost a frown. Oh, what's happening? Are we excited? Oh, so there's a lot of jumping. Oh, there's a lot. Whoa, 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 Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Hi. Um, anyway, so full house at the moment. And um, it has just been, oh, the best. We love her so much. Obviously, we all love our babies, but... Mark and I were reflecting today just how special she is and how I think there's a part of me that feels it's almost still feels surreal that she's here probably because we weren't actively trying for her she was our little blessing in disguise actually not even in disguise because the moment I was pregnant I was like this is meant to be I think this is my baby girl and the timing was just the perfect divine timing I sort of love that it wasn't planned and she just had her own ideas for when she wanted to come in and I was talking to her today and I was like, you just made that decision. You just made the decision that this is when I'm coming. I'm coming in. Whether you guys think you're ready or not. Um, and it truly has been just so amazing i don't i don't really have any other words we've got a little frown face here because she wants to have a bit more boob i think um i just feel so lucky i feel so lucky she's a super easy baby i know i mean all babies are divine um but i would say in particular of all our babies she has you've just been the most relaxed um and maybe i I think in some ways I kind of equate that to her being the youngest of so many babes, but she's, it's just her personality. She's, ah! oh, you tell us and then what happened? She's, she's loud like that. She really loves sort of talking like that. Are you standing? Are you standing? Oh, oh. Um, she's the smiliest baby. I think that's, what we, oh, that's what we get told all the time when we're out and about. Like, oh, she's so smiley. She's so smiley and inquisitive. And she likes to do her talking, which is what she's doing with you guys. Oh, and she really, she loves doing, this is her favorite thing. She just jumps. So we got her one of those little um, jolly jumpers that hangs from the door. And she loves it so much. Um, but, Let's talk a little bit more about you and your routine. Um, so Prairie, 
has sort of an organic routine. I mean, we are never parents that enforce routines on our kids. It's never really worked for us. We just meet their needs as the needs are ours. That's always been our way, uh, our flow with parenting is they have a need, you meet it. It's going to be different every day. Nap time is going to be different every day. And you just like, you're in the flow of it. And I find for me as a parent, being flexible like that and just allowing them to sort of hold your hand through it makes my job easier in a sense um, rather than anything regimented and dogmatic in our approach. We just sort of, some days she'll be more tired and she's gonna gonna wanna have more naps. Some days she's gonna wanna feed a little bit more or more frequently. Um, She's going to not feed so much, whatever it is. It's we just take every day as a new experience and we try not to put, well, she was sleeping three days ago. She should be sleeping. Like, what's changed? It's just the ebbs and flows of, you know, her life and, and what she's into and what she's discovering and how busy her days have been. They, they're all going to have a bit of an impact on her. And, you know, I've had friends in the past who were like, we can't come out because this is, you know, Jessica's nap time and we need to be at home from 12 to 3 and we just can't go anywhere during that time. And, you know, we have to be home by 7 p.m. and we can't go out because that would interfere with... So, like, we are kind of the opposite to that. Um, We're like, woo, we'll come, whatever, we'll bring the babes. The babe sleeps wherever we go. The baby sleeps on our body, in the pram, in the car seat. So there's that sort of flexibility that all of our kids have. And that's just the the way we chose to parent. I think for other people being much more dogmatic about their schedule and how their days works for them, um, for a personality type like mine, even though I am quite type A, being so uh, rigid with a schedule with her, it just wouldn't work. I think I wouldn't enjoy parenting as much personally, knowing myself. I love it being go with the flow, being chill, being easy, not looking at the clock um, and just sort of folding the kids into what our daily life and daily routine is. I think maybe you can be a bit more regimented if you wanted to be with your first child or your first two. But the fact that we have five children, these little guys just have to go with the flow. They jump in the car. We do school pickups. We've got so many activities going on and they just kind of fold into our lives. And what I notice is that she's so chill and she's so relaxed. And I would like to say that's a reflection of us and how we're being because we're really super relaxed with her. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm just enjoying her so much. And I think there's a part of me that is nervous that she's my last baby. I really hope not. But I'm there's a part of me that's like, oh my gosh, I'm lapping up every last little second of this because potentially she could be. You never know how life unfolds. And um, she's an absolute, utter joy. She's so sweet with the kids. She did her first, like, oh, well, she's been laughing for a while. She's almost six months. She'll be six months in a few days' time. But she did her first, like, out of control, impromptu laugh with Bodhi. Oh my God. <laughs> Mark was just watching. <laughs> Mark was just watching me out the window because the window is right there. And um, he was turning around walking and he walked like smashed into a tree. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, anyway, so she she's a massive smiler, but she's you have to work hard to get her to do those big belly laughs. Whereas she's ticklish, so I could get her to do it by like tickling her. But with, maybe not Forrest, I think Poet, Poet and Bodhi, who are really similar in personality, you could be like, and they would laugh so much. It was very easy to make them laugh. But I feel like Forrest and Prairie, and Prairie's a little bit more of an observant baby, a little bit like how Forrest was. Um, you work harder at getting those big belly laughs. I'm, I never, I even, I just walk past and she's like, eh, like smiling. But the big belly laughs, unless I tickle her, um, I've got to be like working, pulling so many crazy faces. Then finally I'll get some laughs. But her like just crazy laughter came the other day, which was really nice from Bodhi. So Bodhi, she loves playing with um, wipes. 
<laughs> and she had a pack of wipes in front of her in the high chair and she was banging on them and then Paul and then Bodie would bang on them back and she was like oh she thought it was the funniest thing in the world um and they were sort of banging it back and forth between each other and Bodie was cracking up and she was cracking up and I took a video of it it was just so beautiful to see those bonds with the siblings and Every day she gets picked up by them, pulled around, carried. This morning she was sitting here with Izzy for the first 30 minutes of the day. They were just looking into each other's eyes and laughing and talking to each other. She loves the dogs. My dog actually, that's what she's looking at right now. My dog is outside the window. I'll show you. There's my, there's my dog, eh? Um, and she's obsessed with dogs and animals. We've got a cat, Aslan. And we have two dogs, Oka and Dusky. And she thinks they're the funniest things in the world. The dogs will walk past and she's like, Ooh! Um, And then they kiss her, they lick her or come close to her and she really cracks up. So that's something I've been noticing in the last week. Sort of as she's approaching that six month age, a lot more of the like louder laughs and um and just like having her favorite thing. So now I'm like, oh, okay, wipes. She loves banging on wipes, scrunching wipes. Those like crunchy, scrunchy little crinkle toys. She loves, um, she's still a spewer. Although I think it's been getting less, but she is a big time spewer. Um, and she, there's just a little bit. See, about a month ago, if she had burped, it would be like, like a full waterfall would be flying out of her mouth. Um, so I can tell that her digestive system is just getting used to her drinking all the milk that she drinks. She's, she's a big drinker. Um, we were doing cloth nappies. I think we'll still go back to cloth nappies, but for the past two weeks we've been traveling. So we went back to some eco disposables, um, because what I was finding was that the cloth nappies that we have, they're pretty old. They're from when, um, they're from when Bodhi was a baby and they're losing their absorbency. I'm sure there's ways to bring it back, uh, but she was wetting through all her clothes. So I was like, right, I'm just going to try eco disposables for a bit because we were traveling and went to Melbourne and then two weeks later we were in Sydney. Uh, I've just got back. So I was anticipating switching back into the cloth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish out this packet of eco nappies and then could always transition back and just find a better system so that she's not peeing through the cloth nappies. Um, she's had no nappy rash. Uh, she sleeps. You know, everyone asks that question, like, how much does your baby sleep? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't be able to tell you the average because we co-sleep. She starts the night in her snoo next to the bed. And then after her big, long first sleep, she generally wakes up around 2 a.m. for a breastfeed. And then I pull her into the bed with us. Hi, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Um, is it exciting? Is it exciting? <gasps> Hi. She can see herself on the camera. That's you. That's Prairie. My little fairy. Um, so... Yeah, like we'll pull her into the bed around 2 a.m. and I'll nurse her in the bed. She'll probably wake up. It, de it depends. Like, oh, this is where I call her queen huff and puff and stuff because she goes, <laughs> if she starts getting upset, she does that. Oh, that's her saying she wants the boobies. Do you want the boobies? That's her saying she wants the boobs. Um, yeah, so then I'm nursing. I'd say I nurse around two and then generally she wakes up around like 5.30ish for another nurse. I could usually get her back to sleep. Um, but then this morning she was kind of up from 5.45 and I kept like, I put her back in the snow and smack a little, pat her little bottom and then um, like pat her, pat her, pat her, put it back in the snow, fell asleep probably for about 15 minutes. And then she was like, eh, like very happy in the morning which I know most babies tend to wake up in the mornings and they're just so happy and full of energy and bubbly and wanting to just connect with people and I just love that I think morning times are my favorite times with her the other thing I'll say about her is of all my babies she is the most distracted feeder so she'll feed and then like 
yank yank her head off and my nipple will just be out there being like hello world um she's probably gonna do it now and i'll have to put like a little sense thing on there um anyway so this is part one of this video and then i will fill you in on the rest in part two